What's up everyone, my name is Pete Gottschalk, videographer for Major League Baseball and also part-time self-proclaimed YouTuber. And in this video, I wanted to show y'all an effect I've been using recently and that's how to make logos, names, and numbers on jerseys pop and stick using Adobe After Effects mainly and a little bit of Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's been a while since I've been in the editing bay, it's been a while since I've done a video like this, let's get into it. It's actually the second time I've recorded this video because the first time the uh, file for Qu from QuickTime on the screen record got messed up. Alright, so we have our clip here, Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, during a flyover for Memorial Day. It's pretty simple, we, but we have a clear shot of his numbers, which is why I'm going to use this shot. Uh, we're going to want to drag the video onto our sequence or our timeline here, and then Command R to make it slow motion since I did shoot this in 120. It doesn't have to be in slow motion, but it's a little easier to work in slow motion, this effect. And I'll explain why in a little bit. What you're going to do is right click the clip, replace with After Effects Composition, and that will open the effect in After Effects. And this will prompt you to start a project in After Effects. I'm just going to name this Tutorial AE. So we have our clip, it's in After Effects. The composition is the exact same as it would appear in Premiere Pro. When you have your clip in your timeline here, or in your composition on After Effects, you want to go up to the pen tool after you select your clip, go up to the pen tool, and then that should give you a mask. And a mask is basically cutting out a part of an image in a certain frame. You want to kind of cut out his number here. So as you can see, the number is cut out and the rest of the screen is completely black. We don't want that. You want to click on your drop down here, go into your masks and hit none. When you have the masking mode changed to none, you want to select your mask again and then type and type in track mask. There's a keyboard shortcut for it, I do believe. But this is basically why you want your clip in slow motion. Because what the computer now is gonna do is gonna track the mask frame by frame. And, and whenever it's in slow motion, there's less movement. So the computer is gonna have an easier time to track it. After that, you hit play. And as you can see, your numbers, if we zoom in, I don't know if we can while it's playing, but the mask is tracking right here on the number. And this is important. Uh, you might have to go in to the keyframes and uh, manually adjust them. This one is really easy because it's a simple cutout and there's little movement, so the computer had no problem tracking it. You, you might need to go in and manually adjust the mask itself. It's really not that hard unless you're doing something super duper complex. So once you get that mask and track masked, you want to hit Command D and duplicate it and then rename this layer. You don't have to, I'm just gonna say top layer, rename this as original. Go into the top layer mask and do add. And then you wanna go into the original clip and delete the mask. So now that original layer is just gonna be the original clip that you moved into Adobe After Effects and the top layer is gonna be solely this mask and we can see this, if we click off this the original clip now, all it is is that top layer which is just the mask. To apply this effect and kind of finish it off, go in to your effects and presets and do optics compensation and drag it onto your top layer. And basically, if we hit reverse lens distortion, that's important. If you change the field of view, you have to drag it a lot. You can see the number peeling off. See that? And if you do this with a couple keyframes and finish it off, it's gonna look really cool. I'm assuming you've worked with keyframes if you're watching this video. Hit this little clock up here and then move it to about a second and go back to zero. See that? Our effect is taking life. And now you can really mess around with how it starts. Like right here, if you wanna do this, the view center will change basically the anchor point of how the number is going to come and stick on. And this is obviously going to change your magnitude of the stick. But right now, that about looks good. And what you can do if you want to make it perfect, and I do this with pretty much all my keyframes, go in here and do easy ease in. And that'll basically slowly animate in. It'll make the animation a little bit smoother. But look at that. There we go. And it almost looks like the... Uh, numbers kind of coming right out of the 
screen, right? Like you can mess around with it here a lot. See that, now it's like looking like it's coming straight out of the screen. But yeah, so that's the effect and it's pretty much come to life. If you wanna take it a step further and make it look like it's completely sticking on the hat or the jersey, you have to clone out the original logo. And I'm gonna show you kinda how I did that for this Max Freed video. So I did the same effect for a Max Freed opening day video. If we look at this here, it's the same effect. We have our top layer, which is the original mask with the effect on it, you can see, and then the bottom layer. It's what we just did with that Ronald clip. And if we play it back, we can see that unlike the Ronald clip where there's the, the, the original jersey number, you can kind of see a little bit. This, you can't see the A on Max's hat. So if we go in here, we can see that we actually clone tooled out the hat. We make all these go transparent. There's the original logo. And how do we do that? I'm gonna delete this paint layer. So now we have the original layer with no clone tool over it. What you wanna do to delete that original logo, go in, double click, and go into your actual clip. Go up here and do clone stamp tool. And basically the clone stamp tool takes one part of an image or a frame and puts it over another. And to create an origin point, you wanna hit option, left click, and that'll basically put what we just option left click over the A. See that? Magic. It's obviously not perfect and it doesn't have to be perfect. That's the thing. As this goes, you might have to adjust the, you might have to add a couple more of these in. If we go into our original layer and play it back. That's what it's gonna look like. See, at this point, if we play it back, those clone layers are still sticking around. And here you can edit how long they stick around for. You wanna select them all and drag them to a point where like you, the A starts to stick. So like probably right there. Right there, I think you're probably good. So if we play this back, look at that. See, it's not perfect, but in a quick video where it's rendered out and then posted online, no one's gonna see this these these layers like right here unless they really take a glance and screenshot it. and even then it's going to be hard with all the compression that's going on so there you go that's how you do it if you want to take the step a little further i recommend this it has to be a little quicker it's a little easier on darker surfaces i've tried it on like white jerseys it's nearly impossible but thanks for watching this tutorial i hope i can provide some value for you guys and like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video